guys, how's it going? Welcome to Toxic Thursday, episode two. Today we are going to look at the top ten, or my top ten, heaviest albums of 1985. So uh, let's get her going. Number ten, this album, um, I haven't played this album, I'm going to guess 15 years, I would say, maybe longer. It's been that long. Uh, that's what I like about doing this. Uh, it's getting me playing a lot of stuff that... I normally wouldn't play or just forgot about or even stuff that I've never even heard back in the day it's forcing me to go and you know check some more stuff out but anyway number 10 Venom Possessed uh, this just totally blew me away um, I couldn't believe how awesome this album is and I totally forgot about it my go to if I listen to Venom, my go to is always either uh, Black Metal, Welcome to Hell, or newer one like Metal Black. I really enjoy that one too. But yeah, just uh, totally forgot about this album. <laughs> this is the uh, OG Bonsai Press, so Venom Possessed, number 10. And uh, let's see, number 9, Iron Angel, Hellish Crossfire. This thing is just intense. It, uh, right from track one, right to the end. Track 10 is just insane. Great album. If you haven't heard this album, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, you definitely gotta check it out. It's brutal. Okay, uh, number nine. Destruction, Infernal Overkill. What can you say about this? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just intense. You know, you got Bestial Invasion right there. That's, you know, Thrash Attack is just wicked. Um, Antichrist, Invincible Force. Like, damn. Insane, wicked, heavy ass album. Okay, uh, number seven. It's not number seven. This is number seven, right here. Slayer, Hell Awaits. This was, uh, I think this might have been one of the very first thrash albums I'd ever heard back in the day. Might have actually been the first thrash album I ever heard. And it, uh, blew my mind. This all also is the Bonsai OG edition. The, yeah. <laughs> and it has my all time favorite Slayer song, At Dawn They Sleep. Just love that song. Uh, Crypt of Eternity, Kill Again, Hello Waits. You can't go wrong with anything on that album. It's just totally brutal. Number six Evil Invaders, Razor. And Razor actually put out two albums uh, in this year, <laughs> um, but I found Evil Invaders just a little bit heavier and better than Executioner's Song. Not that that's a bad album, but I just found this one better and definitely, like, uh, it's definitely brutal. Like Speed Merchants, Cutthroat, Evil Invaders, Tortured Skull, like, wow. You don't get a whole lot more brutal than that era right there, Razor. Totally awesome. Evil Invaders. So that's that was number six. Number five. Celtic Frost to Mega Therion. This is uh very brutal. And I'm sure you all know this. But, uh, I mean, Innocence and Wrath, Usurper, Jewel Throne, um, Circle of Tyrants, everything. Every song is just intense, brutal, heavy, in your face. It's just wicked. And I'm sure you all know that. Um, number four. This will probably surprise most people that it's number four on the list. But I really struggled with this. Yeah. It's although 
my favorite band. And this album is very raw and brutal and intense. I just found that there was a few more that were slightly uh, more raw and intense. But anyway, Creator, Endless Pain. It's my uh, number four. It's my uh, OG Bonsai, which is extremely uh, mint. You know, and you know, everything on this album is also kick ass. They still play Flag of Hate Live. You know, Total Dash, Storm of the Beast, Tormentor, Son of Evil. You know, doesn't get a whole lot better than that. But having said that, here's number four Bonded by Blood. Um, this thing is just super intense. Right? I mean, and every song, every song on this thing is just insane. My favorite would be No Love. I love the acoustic intro and then just, you know, kicks you in the face. Piranha, I mean, come on. Strike of the Beast, totally intense. Just an insanely amazing album. And number two, this is, uh, yeah, I actually even... Forgot, well, I remember that I had it, but I hadn't really listened to it in forever, and I couldn't even really remember what it sounded like, honestly. And I played it, and it just uh, blew my mind all over again. Bathory, The Return. Now, this is uh, a heavy-ass album. Raw, heavy, brutal. I mean, pfft. Forget about it. Like, everything on this is uh, insane. Um... What were my favorites that stood out to me? I think Reap of Evil, Total Disaster, Possessed. They're all really great tunes, but say everything on that is a banger. Uh, just super intense album. I'm glad that I get to revisit it. And yeah, I appreciate it now for what it is because, wow. <laughs> so, number one, know what it is yet? Figure it out. Number one, Possessed, Seven Churches. Probably the, uh, the heaviest album, the most intense album of 1985. And really probably most other years too. So this thing is just insane. Um, everything on it is wicked. Again, this is my uh, Bonsai edition. But yeah, every song, man, like, like, holy hell. <laughs> um, yeah, Satan's Curse, Death Metal, Fallen Angel, Evil War, Burning in Hell, Pentagram, The Exorcist, everything, man. This album is just totally intense. Totally intense. Just doesn't get a whole lot better than that right there. For me, anyway. So that was my top 10 heaviest albums of 1985. There's a few extras that I had that kind of got pushed out. Overkill, Feel the Fire, um, Anthrax, Spreading the Disease, Exciter, Long Live the Loud, and Living Death Metal Revolution. They got edged out by some of the others, but say it's, it's just hard to pick, right? And a few uh, notable mentions that I checked out online that I don't actually physically own was uh, Hallow's Eve, Terror, and... Tales of Terror, sorry. Um, yeah. A couple of these I'm glad I don't have because I would have had to try and get them in there. and Yeah, it would have been hard. But that uh, Hallow's Eve album is totally intense. Onslaught, Power from Hell, another intense one. Warrant, The Enforcer. Damn, that thing is just brutal. Aviator, Vicious Attack. Right, again, you know. Agent Steel, Skeptic's Apocalypse. Like, shit. Warlock, Hellbound. That was a pretty intense album as well. And Artillery, Fear of Tomorrow. Um, yeah, just so many. <laughs> but I found as hard as 86 was to do last week, um, I found 85 harder. <laughs> um, just to get that, you know, get the order in. It, like I, I fought with it most of the day. <laughs> um, and a new thing I was looking at, uh, some bands that newly formed in 1985, just some notable bands that you may have heard of and may have went on to do 
uh, you know, some good stuff. Like Carcass, they formed in 85. Defiance, Ex Hoarder, Forbidden, and Exumer. All new bands in 1985. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's my top 10 list of heaviest albums of 1985. So, thanks for tuning in to uh, Toxic Thursday, episode 2. And uh, next Thursday, uh, I believe it's going to be 1984. I already made the list of uh, albums I got to play and look up. So, yeah, pretty sure that's what it's going to be, 1984. So, have a good one. We'll see you later.